Let's go to visual diagnosis, clinical significance of tongue inspection. Signi changes in tongue appearance usually follow changes in the antipathogenic chi, pathogens and the location of the illness. Therefore, inspecting the tongue can help to judge the exuberance or decline of the antipathogenic chi, distinguish the thermal nature of disease, detect the location of a disease, and predict the prognosis of a disease. The patient's posture. The patient should sit or lie down. Open her mouth wide and allow the tongue to naturally hang outward without pointing the tip. The sequence of tongue inspection benefits from a habitual sequence that favors the tongue body first. Observe the tongue, he, this, the, see the Q&A section to this chapter. And it, this is the Q&A below. Observe the tongue body, then the tongue coating, then the hypoglossal vessels. Observe the tip of the tongue, then the middle of the tongue, then the root of the tongue. The lighting, the, there should be the, a good source of light that can have big influence on the color of the tongue. When, possi when possible, observation of the tongue should be made under natural light. Diet and medications. Food, drink, and medications can change the color of the tongue body and coating, as well as affect its moisture. Seasons and time. The normal tongue condition will change slightly in accordance with the seasons. The tongue coating is usually thicker in the morning before the first meal. The color of the tongue body may also appear dim or dusky when one first awakens. The tongue coating during the spring is normal, in summer slightly thick and yellow, and in the autumn is thin and dry, and winter is moist. Age and constitution. In children under two years of age, it is easy to find a white membrane or blisters with yellow mucus or a swollen tongue. Over three or four years of age, a tongue condition will be similar to that of an adult. Gender. In females preceding menstruation, one may find that the tip or sides of the tongue is slightly more red. After the menstrual period, there may be a slightly pale color to the tongue body. A black tongue coating in a female is not a critical sign, though it is in the male. In the female, a black tongue coating caused by extreme heat will usually not have prickles. Elderly, scanty tongue coating or the absence of a coating are commonly seen in the elderly, as are multiple cracks. For dark complexions, the darker the skin, the lighter or more pale the tongue body may appear. This is due to the contrast between the skin of the mouth and that of the face. Among those of African ancestry, blotches of darker pigmentation are sometimes evident on the tongue body. This is not a pathological sign. For hobbies or habits, smoking, drinking, or other lifestyle choices may affect the condition of the tongue. Scope of tongue inspection. The areas that require the most attention in tongue diagnosis can be divided into two large categories, the tongue body and the tongue coating. While inspecting the tongue body, attention should be paid to the spirit, color, shape, bearing, and hypoglossal veins of the tongue. When inspecting the tongue coating, attention should be paid to the color and qualities of the coating. For tongue observation, the tongue body should have spirit, color, shape, bearing, and hypoglossal veins. In the tongue coating, you look for the color and qualities. The normal tongue is described as having a medium-sized body, soft, neither tough nor tender, which moves freely is pink in color and covered by a thin, even white coating that is moderately moist. One should not be able to scrape off the coating. Rather, it should be well rooted to the tongue surface. A briefer description of the normal tongue is pink with a thin white coating. Thank you for your attention.